Okay, let's have a little chat about all these shots. So the first thing is divots. Divots are a great thing. We want to take a divot. I'll explain how they happen and why later on. But so what we're going to do is like, we'll hit a shot from right here. And once we hit that shot, we put the ball behind the last divot. And okay. you can see how we make these stripes. Okay. okay. All right. So when it comes to um, how I want to kind of build your golf swing today, and I want to be a little bit careful with my words to make sure that I don't fuck you up. Okay. So when you're swinging the club right now, you're swinging a lot with your arms. Right. And it kind of looks that way. When we watch all these guys hit, you know, like swinging with your arms kind of makes it look like that's what we're supposed to do. But the golfers are trying to move their bodies differently. And when they start moving their bodies from this way, like really turning away from the target and then really turning toward the target, that's what makes the arm swing instead of kind of like sitting in a chair and just doing arms. You know what I mean? So what I'd like you to try today is I want you to first try the feeling in the backswing, okay, that you make a big turn of your body. So that means like your, yeah, your back's going to face the target. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Now, I don't want to talk about the forward swing yet. We're going to get into that. But if we can feel like the back turns this way to the target, but the second that it gets there, you have to go back the other way. There's no waiting there. Okay, it goes back and then you're gone. Okay, so that's the first step to speed. And I want you to feel like it's in speed in your chest, in your shoulders, that goes here and then changes direction. So big turn and then change direction and go toward the target. Okay, so that's going to be like, that's your power source, right? What controls this? What makes this thing fly is what makes these things fly, and that's the inside of you turning, not me just trying to use my arms to swing my hands around me. That's a big key for hitting, for creating power. Okay, so first thing, that's that. Second thing is how you hold it with your, with your left hand. All right, so we want to try and hold this. Like if this was a briefcase, how would you grab it? A suitcase, yeah? And then from there, good, put the thumb on top, done. That's how I want you to hold it. Because what you've done is now you have all of your fingers at 90 degrees to the shaft, right? And it's not at an angle like and this. this, thumb, this thumb goes, I don't care where that one goes today. You'll find a way to put it on there that makes it feel the most solid for you. Yeah, that's way better with your glove, with your left. Okay, that's it. So we are going to start today with a little tease. Okay. Now, I don't want to talk about how to get through your swing. I just want you to feel that once you've gone back to the target and changed direction fast, that wherever you end up, you have to stop. Yeah, wherever you change direction, you have to stop. So we're going to tee it up like this. My whole goal is to turn my body quickly. Stop. Okay? I'm not too, like I said, I'm not too concerned with how you get to your finish right now. I just want you to get there and stay there. That's a good shot. Good job. Okay, so how's your, how's your grip on your left hand? Good. Okay, so show me your left hand grip on the club, okay, and lift it straight up like this in front of you. Okay, so we want to try and find a way to hold this so that this chopping action of your wrist, now grip it hard, okay, now from here, you can get this club to go up and down. That's the impor most important part okay. of the swing. So now you've got it 
like your hands on top of the grip. On top, on okay. top, okay? Thumbs down longer, I like that. That's how it should look. Okay, so back all the way to the target and turn through. So hold on a sec, let's see the grip. The grip's important, more on top. Yeah, it'll feel like it's more in the fingers down here, and then that gets more on top. There you go, okay. So even though I've asked you to make this kind of fast, I want you to find a way to keep it smooth. Okay. Smooth and fast are a little different, right? So it's, you're aggressive with it, but I don't want it to be so fast that the club misses the ball. Be a little smoother with it. Different club, same idea, different club. I'll get a new tee, that one's buried. There we go. Good. Right on. Okay. Okay, so here's the thing, is that, like, in the last, I don't even know, call it 60 years, two golf pros have ever said, I see the club hit the ball. Two. Some of the best players have already turned their head this way yeah, before they come down. The best players do it. So if you do okay. it, that's not a problem. Don't get, don't get locked in on that. That's not okay. a big deal. The big things that I want us to look at today is that you're able to get yourself turned this way the most, right? Turn this way the most in the backswing, and then from there we're going to tweak and fix where it is that you get to on the for on the follow through, right? Where you get to on the follow through and how you get there. That's right. So in your follow through, where you're going, I want it to feel like you are the tallest, right? You're forward and you're tall. That's the end of the end of the line for the body. There you go, that was awesome. And the idea here is that if the body can go this way and then forward and tall, it's gonna take the arms and the club with it for a ride and that's gonna make it go faster. Rather than us use our arms and hand muscle, to, you know, instead of, you know what I mean? So it, it, the whole goal of this is trying to use your body differently and I think that this part's your priority, turning back this way and then right from here, getting into a tall forward follow through. Awesome, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, just like that. So let's go with like, I don't know, 15 balls, take a break, change clubs, I'll leave all the clubs here on the chair, and then go back to 15 more. All right, there we go, all the way up to eight iron. Uh, left, low and left. We're gonna, so the driver. We just want to send this thing high into the as high into the sky as we can. Just launch it up there.
Okay, okay. All right, so one of the things that we have to do with the driver, which is a little bit different. Um, all right, so take your grip, hold it out like this for me, way out in front. Okay, and put your other hand on. All right, so with the driver, we need to, this part of the club to move faster than this part of the club sometimes. So when you take it back and it goes back and you bend your wrist like this, all that's great, but you have to find a way to let that out again on the other side of the golf ball. So stay right here, let me kind of demo a little bit again. Sometimes monkey see, monkey do. When you're swinging the club toward the target, you're swinging your arms really fast all the way to here. And so all that's going to do is drag the club head all the way to here. So it never has a chance to speed up around my arms, right? Kind of like this, right? So if I just did that, right? There's a lot of power down there in that little thing, right? There's a lot of power down there. But if I take my arms now, not my hands and wrists, if I take my arms and push them through, it can go a little bit of everywhere because this leaves the club behind. Speeding this arm up leaves my club behind. And I want to try and speed it up. So I want it to feel as though that in your backswing, we're still doing the same big turn, but then down here at the ball, if there is a big finish line right there, that the club head has to pass the line before your arms do. Huh? Club head past the line, arms there. That's kind of the feel. And when Logan starts hitting drivers, you can watch him because he does this a whole bunch. It's good to have a model and watch someone do it. Hey, right, good. And so the earlier you can do it, the higher it goes. Okay, so take your grip for me. All right, pretty good, I'll take that. So we're looking for this, that way. So wrist gets all bent weird like so that. This one flattens out. Next? No, 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 I just need this to happen through here. And then now turn your body to me, keep turning. Then it goes up like that, okay. right? But we have to try and find a way not to let the hands go through with the club head behind, the opposite. We need to speed it up that way. And that's where if we're holding onto the club too tightly or our wrists and forearms are too tense, we can't do that. So allow it to kind of, you know, soften up a little bit. And remember the line I drew down here. You want the club to pass the line before your arms do. That might mean your arms slow down a little bit. That one definitely was arms past the line before club. So hold the club out like this for me. All right, so we want to make sure. Let's get this hand more on top. I just don't see how I can do that. I have my club before there, before my arms. Okay, there we go, just like that. Okay, so from here, it's this motion, right there. That's where I want you to feel like you finish your swing if you could. That would be the idea. But what's happening is that when you take it up into your backswing, to hold the step to a ball. Okay, when you take it up to your backswing, you use your arms and you power your arms for too far past the ball, which leaves this thing back here. So it's another way for me to put, hey, let's get the club head past the handle, is you need to feel like as your arms come into the golf ball that they slow down. So there are things that have to slow down in the golf swing. And here's my analogy. If I'm sitting on the hood of your car going down the highway, I feel 100 kilometers an hour. But how do you make me go faster? 
the brake. I go flying off. So if we can hit the brakes to your arms, it's going to make me fly off the front of the car. So this is, your, this is in your concept of the golf swing. Don't power your arms past this line up into your finish. Don't do that. Get them to slow down through here so that the club head can pass. And if they slow down, it gives time for the club head to catch up, and that's the one that goes higher in the sky. So here's a fun exercise or you know, a golf drill, um, trying to feel like you can hit a shot where the club keeps going but your arms don't, right? And just try to feel like you can hit some shots letting the club head pass your arms by having your arms stop or slow down, right? We can feel as though that if, if I draw this, if I have this line right here, right, I got this line of where the grass gets different length. If I feel like my arms are stopped by the time they get there, the club will keep going. Holding it soft enough, let that club kind of pass your hands. Let it lengthen out. And I, I think that the, the biggest tip that I can give you is just to keep things softer. Don't squeeze so hard. Okay, grip looks good. That's too far. Yeah, good. Yep. That's a little bit high. Sometimes we can get underneath it with that one. Let's go down a little lower. Yeah, right in front of your front foot. Yeah, so right in front of your, like the, your, one of your toes on your front foot, that's where the ball will be. Okay, and slowly swing it back to me here. All right, so when we take this club back, this is gonna be kind of our indicator of how our grip is. Um, can you turn it over a little more in towards you? A little more this way? Okay, so this is kind of the spot I want you to feel like we're taking it through and being able to keep the club a little lower to the ground. The way that you had the club coming back into your swing was promoting the club turning closed this way and then not really going back as far, all right? If we didn't have any turn to the body, the backswing feels like this. That's your backswing right there. But because we turn, you end up looking like the top of a golf swing, right? The, the backswing. So, yeah, good. Hold it there. Now keep turning your body. Keep turning your body. Good, good. Keep turning. Lift it up. Look down at the ball. Okay, start again. Let's try this again. Keep your eye on the ball. Keep turning. Okay, one more time. So, when you're taking the club back, you're lifting the club up by bending your elbows up. And when you bend your elbows up, it doesn't allow the wrist to bend, otherwise you'd conk yourself in the head. So, so yeah, it's, and, but the only way the arms can stay straight is if you turn, right? So you have to feel like it's your back turning to the target as your wrists are trying to put both thumbs up to the sky really early. 
Yeah. There you go. And then take it back as far as you can from there by turning and standing. Yeah, good. Okay, so start again. Do something like that and hit it. Okay. Keep my eyes on the ball all the time, right? No, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that's something you need to do. Um, eventually, well, yeah. But right now we've got some bigger priorities. One more time. Take it up again. Feel like you come off your front foot. Feel like your front foot's the one that lifts up. Not, yeah, your front foot lifts up off the ground. That's better. Good. So, thumbs up. Go through. There you go. see a whole lot of the red right so what that does is that puts an angle into your hand this way right instead of when you gripped it underneath that way now it makes all this very flat if it's flat you're going to use your fingers to hold the club which is going to stiffen things up all the way through here if I can get this into your hands this way good in the fingers thumb up top good okay so hold it there so it's a little bit closed roll it okay keep going keep going okay now we're talking. All right, other hand goes on any way you want. Okay, because the roll of the wrist is to go up and down right here. Right, that's the job. So if you have it like this, right, it's hard to go up and down. But the more you have it rolled over this way, now it makes it easier to go up and down. So they call the magazines called golf grips. Like if it's this way where it's flat, they call that a weak grip. If it's a little bit rotated, they call that a neutral grip. And if it's a lot rotated like that, where I can't bend back my glove hand anymore, they call that a strong grip. But if you were to go lift up a 20 or, th or 50 pound dumbbell in the gym, you'd only lift it up one way, right? You'd never lift it up this way, so that's terrible. You'd never lift it up on an angle because it would just flop into a different spot. You'd grab it a certain way and lift it up and that would have a little bit of cupping to it. But because you'd be grabbing onto, you know, to something that's straight like this, you'd be grabbing onto it at 90 degrees. And when it goes on at night, when the fingers go on at a 90 degree angle to the shaft, that puts the thumb out. But if I go this way, now I'm at an angle, now I don't get a good pinky thing, now my thumb finishes beside my hand. And so I look for long thumbs and making sure that the golfer can see the back of the glove right there the most. One knuckle, two, three, four, all of them right there. That's the best grip you could have, especially for what we're doing today. Okay, so let go. Find it again. Good job. Love it. Hey, better. So, the hand, like how your hand sits on the club is a big determinant of being able to swing the club the shaft faster. Where the hands are twisted is the club face, right? And how the club face looks. So, if you put both hands on it, take your grip. What would you have to make this club head look like to hit the ball higher in the air? How would you have to change the look of this face to get it to go higher? Yep, but that means it's going to go that way more. that right so if we want to hit the ball like that your hands the hands get back here and the club head passes that to hit the ball higher the low one the one that we're seeing right now is like that the hands went too far past the ball and took all the loft or the angle away so put both hands on so this is where perhaps back here this line back here is where you feel your arm stop to let this start to happen and let the loft kick in and kick it in the air Yeah, off your front foot, not off your back foot. Lift your front foot up. Good. I'm not going to lie, I just told you a whole bunch of shit. Just a whole bunch of stuff. The feet, that's where we have to start right away. If you start making your back swing where you're lifting your front foot up, then the only place you're going to go from there is back this way. Right? And we have to make our, our motion go forward. So it's this, lifting the front foot up to help you turn more, okay? Yeah, lift the front foot up to help you turn more, 
and on the back downswing, stop your arms around this line to let this thing go into the ball. Definitely want to get that a little higher, but let's try and get the same thing. Weight off the front foot, big turn. Yeah. And once you have your grip on the golf club, kind of move your wrists around to see what that does to the club face, to see how it changes. I mean, where your hands are at setup, is where the club face is the straightest. So they kind of have to come back that way. I think it's all gonna start in your grip. Really make sure that it's this way. See how my, my glove hand is bent? So, so bend it back like this and then put it on the golf club and keep it bent that way. Almost put a little force into it. Yeah, thumb on top, glove thumb on top. There you go. Yeah. Just make sure we keep teeing it up, okay? It's gotta be teed up high. All right, so hold it there. One more time, start again. So slowly take it back. And what did I do differently there? Found this again, huh? Yeah. Yeah, so you wanna feel like you live in this world with your wrist and it just stays that way, bent back. All that's gonna do is give you a little more power, but also a lot of loft, a lot of angle to hit up, get the ball higher. Yeah. Uh, probably best to watch right from the front of these balls. Okay. So back swing. Back to the target. Okay. And I'm trying to take this golf club and put it as far away from the ball as I can, making sure my back gets to the target. Okay. I don't want to take the club away from the ball without turning because that puts the golf club too close to me. Gets me into a funky spot over here and I can't take it back very far. So I'm trying to feel like what's moving is my body and that takes my arms in the club away. So we're going there and on the way through, I'm trying to make sure that I can feel like my arms slow down back here to let the club go like that. Ready? Okay, so that would be a lower one if we're working on trying to make sure that this golf club has more angle in here I have to make sure that whatever I do in the backswing doesn't take the angle away little wrist actions like that kill our chance from a great shot to a shot that's going to bounce off the ground in front of us so it's little motions there so I feel as though that like if I just got soft see how the face turned down I have to use a little muscle to keep it open all right, so there it is, nice and square. Now, if I wanted to hit this higher, I have to find more of this to add more loft.
There's higher. Okay, try this again. I'll, I'll kind of break it down in slow motion. Turn the back. Stop the arms around here to let the club speed up. And as it speeds up, I turn to face my target. So what gets the club from here all the way to here in the finish is my body turning, is me trying to get that way. Oops. Okay. Well, it's effortful. I'm trying to hit it hard. Um, but, you know, I, I feel as though that I'm trying to get a good momentum in my feet to help me turn and finish my swing. You know, I'm trying not to put too much, I don't want to say effort, because obviously I'm trying to hit it hard, just too much pressure and squeeze and tension to try and make this go fast. Right? So, feeling as though I can keep this cupping in the wrist, keep the face open to help me hit it higher.